Hello and welcome to my latest Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing off um, my latest creation, which is a simple combination lock with 10 different combination numbers, which can be easily set to multiple different combinations. So uh, first I will set it. Sorry, the, 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 back, the back of this is a bit um, <laughs> untidy. Okay, so first is the back and you can set the code here. So I will set it to uh, 9741. So, and the code has now been set. Here we go. So the door should be shut and I can put in one, two, three and going to happen. But if I put in 9741, the door will open. And when I pass on those plates, it'll then reset, or I can press the button here to reset it. And okay, so the way this works is I came up with a new kind of memory cell, at least one I haven't I haven't seen, um, and it's it's too wide. Um, well, it's actually one wide, but if you put them next to each other, then the signals will get crossed over. So um, the way it works is when the signal goes through here into this piston here, the signal will go through there, and down there, and when that's down there, the signal will pass through. And um, then you've got one signal that goes to the light, and then the signal goes down here. And now in here, depending on what you've set in the combination, these will either be up or down. If they are down, then it requires the feed to be negative. Um, yeah, if it's down, it requires the feed to be negative. Um, in other words, no one's pushed this, the button for number one, and that's then correct. Otherwise, when it's up, it needs to be positive. So then they, these all then go into the standard AND gates, and then the AND gates feed down to the door. And the pistons here that set whether it should be positive or negative are all set just from here, from another of these uh, uh, single line memory cells. And uh, that's it really. Yeah, I set this up because it was taking me ages to walk it, though I suppose I could flown. Um, and most of this stuff here is just me being quick about it. You could set it up so uh, uh, it's much easier to uh, reset and to open the door. Anyway, so that's that. Let me know what you think. And uh, oh, by the way, you could, you could add a whole line of these and to the other side as well. So there's no real limit on how many combinations you could have. I think this at the moment is 1024, but it would be pretty easy to uh, make it over a million. I think if you had another 10, that's a million. So anyway, let me know what you think and uh, how I could improve the circuitry, and uh, I'll see you next time.